Does your uh, mom know it's half day today? <laughs> Honestly, I don't think my mom knows what day it is. I mean, her best friend in the whole world just showed up, which would be great, except somebody else is already using his identity. <sighs> Basically, it's a huge mess. I'd rather talk about the mystery of your missing dad. So tell me, have you found anything else besides the letter? Yeah. This. The CD was mixed in with the souvenir coasters we've been collecting whenever we take a trip. That's awesome. Oh my god, it has a date on it. 2003, like the letter we found? 14 years ago. When you were conceived? Uh, yeah, well, moving on. Uh, the mystery man, possibly my dad, said he hoped she liked the gift he left for her. Well, maybe that's it. Well, have you listened to it? You know, maybe there's a secret message on it. Or... With what? I mean, we don't even have a CD player. Do you? No. But I know where we might find one. Just waiting for this very important. You get it to as soon as you can. Well, why are you guys here to see me? We need your help. Just telling Oscar about how we used to hang out here eating pasta, listening to your CDs. Mom would call it lounge music. Yeah, Sinatra, Bennett, Martin. Uh-huh. You know these guys? Yeah, they're really cool. Yeah, yeah, Oscar's really into jazz and classical music. <laughs> Very impressive, Oscar. But I'm, I'm kind of busy right now, though, so... We, we really just need your CD player. Um, can, can we borrow it? Yeah, I think I got it in the back somewhere. I'll get it. Thanks. God, this is gonna help so much. Okay. This thing. Okay, but can I just, uh... Can I just ask you what you need it for? It's for a research project. Oh, the one you've been working on the past few weeks. Yeah. Right, right. right. Yeah, we're almost done. Mm -hmm. Um, we had to pick a year and learn everything we could about it. Um, and the library had a CD from our year with music on it uh, that we wanted to listen to. That's very interesting. What year? It's a cool place you have here. Is it like a real restaurant? My mom loves Italian food. She loves it too. Oh, well, it's not open for the public ever. Good to know. Yeah. So it's like a man cave. Yeah, we, we've taken up too much of your time. You're busy. Um, so we're going to head out now. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Well, good luck with whatever you're working on. Thank you. Thanks. You too. Listen to this lyric. It's about how no one can love you the way the singer does. Very passionate. Like most of the songs on here that my dad may be recorded from my mom. So all of these songs, um, I mean, do you think that they have a meaning? They're not exactly happy ever after ballads. They're about people who are afraid to lose each other, who have a short amount of time to love each other. Which is, it's pretty sad. I don't get it. I mean, why'd they break up? What got in their way? Okay, well, the last song had a lyric about bottling up love and throwing it in the sea. And your parents were in San Diego together by the sea. Yeah, but I mean, all of this isn't really getting us any closer to finding my dad. Plus, the songs are kind of downers. Yeah, too much love and loss. Just makes me wonder what it would have been like if they just stayed together. 